In this video I'll tell you whether or not you can potty train your puppy in five days and I will also tell you tactics so you know how you can potty train your puppy the fastest way possible. Furthermore I'll explain what being house trained means in my opinion and how long it will take for a puppy to become fully house trained. Hi. My name is Robin and I'm the owner of the website PuppyBee.com and I make it my job to interview dog experts after which I translate their expertise into books and handy videos such as the one you're watching right now. One of the books I've written is How to House Train a Puppy The Ultimate Guide and I've interviewed a total of 24 dog experts for this book. I asked each and every one of them 67 questions related to house training subjects and one of the questions I asked them was about how fast you can potty train a puppy and whether or not it is possible to do this in one day, five days or seven days. Firstly, when you do a quick Google search on potty training a puppy in five days, what you probably already have done, you'll find multiple results saying it is possible to potty train your puppy in five days. I also found a video saying you can house train your puppy in one day. To come straight to the point, I don't agree with this. You cannot house train a puppy within one day or five days or even seven days. All the 24 dog trainers and experts agreed on this topic. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And the same goes for house training your puppy in a few days. Well, why is it not possible to house train a puppy in a single day or even in a few days? First off, we need to make sure we agree on a general definition of being house trained. Because if we skip that step, things could get confusing later on. Most pups are in fact house trained to perfection from the very start. By this, I mean they have no trouble peeing in one corner of the room and taking a nap in the other one. Now obviously, this is not how we humans prefer our puppies to behave. We like our dogs to pee preferably outdoors. That simply takes a bit of training. The notion of being house trained, as I use it, means the following. The pup is capable of controlling its own natural urges to pee and poop and furthermore it knows it is supposed to pee and poop outside the house. Because of all the videos made and articles written by other people saying it is possible to house train a puppy in a single day or even in a few days, I receive lots of emails from really concerned new puppy owners that the puppy still has accidents when the puppy is 12 weeks of age. Or in other words, it is still not house trained within 4 weeks. Let me tell you this, please do not stress out over this. It is totally normal that your puppy still has accidents now and then within its 12 weeks of age. So please do not freak out. Ok, but everyone says my puppy should be trained already. What is wrong with my puppy? What is wrong? No, stop. You need to relax. Close your eyes right now. Do it. Do it. Close your eyes. And inhale through your nose as deep as you can and then exhale through your mouth. Everything will be okay. You can safely assume that you can house train your puppy within a few months. For some of you it will be quicker and for some it will take a little bit longer. In my book How to House Train a Puppy The Ultimate Guide I discuss a total of 11 factors what will influence the pace which a pup will become house trained. Many of these factors are beyond the control of us dog owners which is why you can't accurately predict when a pup will be house trained. I'll discuss 5 factors in this video. The first factor is every dog and every situation is unique and different. All dogs are unique as as their owners, which always result in a unique combination. At any rate, comparing dogs is pointless because they all have their individual overall health condition. A puppy resistance to disease is lower than that of an adult dog, putting puppies at higher risk of catching illnesses. They will not benefit the process of house training. The second factor is seasonal influences. The weather is another influential factor of puppy house training. 
Since you tend to spend more time outside in the summer than in the winter, the chances of having accidents in the house will vary as seasons change. This will result in people having their puppy house trained much faster in the summer rather than the winter. Furthermore, I don't know if someone has researched this, but it would be very interesting to know whether or not new puppy owners from the west coast will have their puppy house trained faster as the weather is much more pleasant than the east coast of America. The third factor is different breeders. All pups are socialized under different circumstances between birth and the moment they move in with the new owners. The siblings will all have their own unique experience of the period too. Some breeders invest more time and energy in rearing their puppies, causing some pups to be further along in the house training process than others. And that is sad but true. Many puppies are still being born at puppy mills, where they will grow up in kennels and kennels have a high risk of poor hygienic conditions, denying pups a fair chance of learning how to keep their sleeping space tidy. Their new owners will have to spend a lot of time and patience on their subsequent house training. The fourth factor is motivation and discipline. Not all dog owners are equally committed to rearing their puppies. Your personal motivation and discipline are important factors in determining what type of owner you will be. There will be days when you just don't feel like taking the dog for a walk, either because it's rainy or cold outside or for any other reason you can make up to stay in. And this is exactly where you draw the line between being a committed, highly motivated dog owner and a less committed or even a poorly motivated one. The fifth factor is times when a pup is alone. The longer you leave your puppy alone, either during the day or at night, the most likely it is to answer nature's call indoors. Spending more time with your pup will allow you to get better at reading and understanding its behavior. Ideally, puppy owners will have plenty of space available in their daily schedules over the first few weeks they spend with their new pup. If for instance the owner has to start working half day shifts a week after receiving the puppy, there is a chance that it will wet its dog crate. The puppy has to spend more time alone than it is used to and this may mean taking a step back on the way to completing the house training process. I've also written a book supported by seven dog experts focusing on the subject of leaving puppies home alone. It's called How to Prevent Puppy Separation Anxiety, The Ultimate Guide. If you want to read a free chapter of the book, please see a link in the description below this video on YouTube. Or go to my website puppybee.com. Also you can watch my other YouTube video where I share 6 tips on how to prevent and stop puppy separation anxiety. Please see a link to that video in the YouTube description below. There is just no telling how long it will take for your pup to become fully house trained. As I've just told you, there is a huge range of factors that influence the house training process. And these are only 5 of the 11 factors I discuss in my book. You may find yourself realizing at some point that it's been a week since you have found anything deposited around the house. But even then, accidents can still happen. There's no single success method or magic formula to tackle the matter. And if one says otherwise, they're lying. The only thing I can do is to point out the tactics that have proven successful for other dog owners and let you know what worked and what didn't, allowing you to make a well-founded decision on your own approach to getting your puppy house trained. This is why I suggest you stick to a successfully proven daily feeding, walking and resting schedule for your puppy. And you can download the puppy schedule I created for free. My schedule has been downloaded for thousands of times by new puppy owners and you can download a free version as well. In the description below this video on YouTube, you find a link to the download page or you can go to my website puppybee.com to download the puppy schedule and other invaluable free puppy resources. I also suggest you watch my other video about potty training your puppy where I share 6 tips on house training your puppy. 
You will also find a link to that video in the description below this video. Well, there you have it. You now know whether or not you can potty train your puppy in five days. Also, you know the fastest way to potty train your puppy and that is following my proven daily feeding, walking and resting schedule for your puppy. Hopefully, you won't freak out anymore when your puppy has an accident inside. Just stay calm and relax and find out why it eliminated inside so you can maybe prevent it of happening in the future. If you like this video, please smash that like button. Me and YouTube will like that and that way YouTube will recommend this video to more other new puppy owners. Also, please leave a comment below this video and tell me your puppy's age. My golden retrieve dog is 5 years of age and I love him more and more each day. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't miss any future video as I publish new videos related to puppy training each Thursday and sometimes even twice per week, Monday and Thursday. And last but not least, please visit my website puppybee.com for more information about puppy training. I wish you all the best with your puppy and make sure you enjoy every moment. Thanks for watching my video and I'll see you next time.